There are more ways to use your copy and paste function with text like how we normally would use with your Microsoft Office. I'm Alicia from KL Gadget TV and I'm going to show you some cool ways to use copy and paste function, especially for images, using your Windows PC or your Mac. There are times when you see photos and images on the internet that you want to share with your friends. Now let's start with the print screen function using your Windows PC. What this button on your keyboard does is take a screenshot of your desktop screen and temporarily saves it. Now if you press this key and then use Ctrl V on Facebook, WhatsApp desktop app, Telegram and wherever, it pastes the screenshot onto that platform. You don't have to save an image or the screenshot before posting or sharing. Now not only does this copy and pasting images can be done using the print screen function, you can also copy and paste images that you've googled online. Say you are doing a mock-up and want to use a photo you have googled online. Instead of saving the photo and then importing it into your software, you can just right-click, copy image and Control v on your software of choice such as Adobe Illustrator, Microsoft Word or even on WhatsApp web and Facebook. Found a juicy content on Facebook you want to share with your friends? Well, right-click on the image, select copy image and Control v on your favourite desktop chat app. Now this also works with your Mac. Instead of using Ctrl V, just use Command V to paste it. By the way, do know that stealing intellectual property is a crime, yeah? So use this feature responsibly. Now next, let's talk about a snipping tool that comes with Windows 10. This is actually a really handy tool. Not only can you use it to take whole screenshots, you can also select whatever you want to copy. Then you can either save it as a file or copy it and paste it onto anywhere else just like the print screen function. Now just launch the app, click on new and proceed to snip the area you want to copy. You see this arrow here next to the new button? You can select what kind of snip you want to use. Although in my personal opinion, the rectangular snip is the most useful. Now the delay function is a little useless though. It is mostly used to take a screenshot after a delay of up to 5 seconds. So far, I've not found any real use for this. I would just rather print screen to capture what I really need in real time. So, why use the snipping tool? The difference is that the snipping tool can be used to copy a selection instead of the whole screen in case you don't really want to share whatever you have on the other tabs. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you find the video useful. Um, if you have any questions regarding this copy and paste function, do comment below. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel over here and follow us at KL Gadget Guy on our social medias like you see down here. You can also follow me on Queen Ellie 007. And till the next video, this is Alicia signing off. Bye!